Tigra runs through the jungle. She is fated to die here. This was her punishment, and this is her death. But still, she can't help but smile. She grew up in a cage, a prisoner of her kingdom's baron. But here, in the Deadlands, Tigra is finally free. As the Marvel zombies track the woman down, she realizes that this is what freedom looks like. But the undead are concerned when they hear an all too familiar whir of machinery. Imperfect. Battle erupts between the zombies and the Ultron drone, and chaos rises. This is the reality of the Deadlands and perfection. On the planet of Battleworlds, the cobbled together remnants of the multiverse lie the Forbidden Zones. One area is known as the Deadlands, infested with zombies and at war with perfection. The latter area is ruled by Ultron, who turned on his creator Hank Pym, slaughtered the Avengers, and wiped out the heroes of this domain in only 14 months. Now Ultron rules perfection alone, better and greater than humanity. And there is nothing that can change that. Nothing and no one. We then cut to the shield, a massive wall that protects the rest of Battleworld, where a new arrival has come. From the Valley of Doom, a kingdom set in the Old West, Hank Pym was banished to the Forbidden Zones. He was punished for attempting to build a clockwork man out of adamantium, a crime against the will of the one true ruler and god of Battleworld, Dr. Doom. A friend on the wall managed to arrange for Hank to be able to pick which of the three forbidden kingdoms that Pym can go to, and hearing his options, Hank quickly chooses to go to perfection. After all his work on robotics from an era so far behind in technology, Pym would at least like to meet one proper robot before he dies. A sentinel takes Hank to perfection, and the man begins to wander towards the great robotic city at the heart of this domain. He stumbles on a dead Ultron drone, which has been taken down by two zombies. Hank flees, when suddenly, the undead are vaporized. Pym's saviors are the Vision, Jim Hammond, and Simon Williams. They recognize Hank Pym and make him an offer. How would you like to change the world? Hello and welcome to Comic Island. My name is Zardin, and this is my recap and review of Age of Ultron vs. Marvel Zombies number 1. Yeah, this was actually probably one of the most requested of all the Secret Wars tie-ins, and honestly, I cannot blame you guys. The title alone pretty much sold me on this one too. And yeah, this comic feels short, but on the whole, it featured strong writing, excellent art, and a stellar setup for the rest of this tie-in. No, this comic wasn't full of depth or the promise of a profound change in the world of comics, but it was a nice beginning for a comic about robots fighting zombies. There really isn't much else I feel the need to ask for. I like that they're incorporating Hank Pym from an area called the Valley of Doom, which evokes the Old West. Pym's relative lack of knowledge concerning future technology should make him a very interesting character indeed in the setting of perfection in the Deadlands. I also enjoyed the appearance of these three at the end. Most of you have probably heard of Vision and maybe even Simon Williams, also known as Wonder Man, but for those of you wondering, Jim Hammond is the original Human Torch, an android created way back in the early days of Marvel. So do you get it? These three technically have bodies not made of flesh and blood. Two of them are robots, and Simon Williams' body is composed entirely of energy, which is likely how they survived out in perfection and especially the Deadlands. Honestly, I think that's a nice little touch on the whole. And that's all I really have to say about this comic. Like this recap and review, Age of Ultron vs Marvel Zombies was short but sweet, and it has me eager to see what comes next. I recommend you check this one out for yourself. It was fun, and I'm always game for more fun. So let me know what you think of this comic, and what you'd like to see come out of the rest of this story in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep reading comics. Here we go! I hope you guys are ready for this one. Zombie play in the jungle, robot work 
in the factory they will have a giant rumble zombies versus robot zombie versus robot zombie hate technology robot hate the zombie they will fight eternally zombie versus robot Zombie versus robot Zombie eat in the jungle Robot replicate in factory They both love their mother Why must they hate each other? Why can't we all get along? Would that be oh so wrong? Why can't we all love each other? Zombie and a robot brother Zombie versus robot Zombie versus robot Zombie versus robot Zombie versus robot Z O M B I E Zombie R O B O T Robot Z O M B I E Zombie R O B O T Robot Z O M B I E Zombie R O B O T Robot